Maybe you are asking me to join the Catholic faith, but I want to tell you this. So many priests, even Monsignor, Monsignori and the bishops had already come to me asking me to join, but I told them I can't. So, why are you a very young priest? <laughs> you are now inexperienced. Why do you come to urge me? The priest looked around and saw the horse of this very king. And this king loved his horse so deeply. And this priest told the, the king, O oh, king, okay, no problem. You don't want to join the Catholic faith? No problem. I want to ask a favor from you. The king said, it's okay, feel free. And the priest said, O oh, king, I would like to ask you, would you mind starving this horse for three good days? Give it no food, no water. At the end of the third day, bring out the salad of this horse. The salad, its best food. Present it before this animal. Then, I myself, I will bring the body of Jesus Christ. If this horse takes this food, I will cease to be a Catholic priest. I will join you in your idolatrous um, 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 maybe banquet. But if this horse should bow to the Blessed Sacrament, would you become a Catholic? The old king said, Ah, this young priest, who are you? From where did you get this um, um, suggestion? Was it coming from you where you sent? The priest told him, just, um, O king, just answer me. Would you, uh, is it sealed? The king, the king told him, it's a, wonder, it's a wonderful idea, I accept. The king went out and they told both his members of his cabinet what was about to happen. Every member of, uh, every, every of the villagers were summoned to the king's village square on the third day. And this priest went into fasting, dry fasting and prayer. He ate nothing. He drank nothing for three good days. Asking Jesus to manifest his power. On the third day, the priest, already so fagged out and worn out, starved, thirsty, he told the Mass of us, because some Catholics, even some members of the CWO had already come to the, um, the priest to tell him, um, Father, Father, well done. Uh, Father, how are you there? Uh, Father, I just... Excuse, Father, come. Come. You know you are still a young priest. And sometimes, you people, you say something. <laughs> uh, look at what I'm suggesting. You've made the mistake. Just go to the king, tell him that um, sometimes a person can have a slip of tongue, you know, and uh, just tell him uh, you were even feeling dizzy and sleepy the day you said it, that you can't even remember saying it. And he should just... Um, for and the, even the cat keys and the, some members of the CMO gathered and were advising the priest. <laughs> the priest told them, I've made up my mind. I've given my words. I can't take it back. On the third day, he called on the members of the, on the altar nights. Each of them gave wonderful excuses why he shouldn't go with the priest, ringing the bell. The father told them, no problem. Katkis, are you ready? Katkis told the, um, 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 the parish priest, Father, you know, actually, my, I will be going for a um, uh, Don't uh, I will be going to babysit my daughter. Okay, okay, not babysitting. Sorry, it's for my wife. Um, I forgot, what is it? Um, we have a practice. All the cat kissing um, in the nation meeting. So, 
<laughs> the Bible told him that's interesting to hear. You have it today. And uh, he called even the members of the CMO, CW. Everybody was, was excusing, offering excuses. And the priest, it dawned on him that even the, his parishioners had conspired against him. So he knew he was just going with Jesus alone. And the members of his parishioners at the village square had one of their leg inside the fence and the other. They were sitting on top of the wall. One leg inside the square, the other leg outside the uh, square in case. In case. After beating the priest, it's time to beat the, the Catholics who are also his members. So, the priest set out. He took the body of Christ. In the monstrance, he left. Walking along the street. He knew he has only one person to trust, Jesus. May you chant this song with me. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The cornerstone in a monstrance arrived at the village square there were there was already uproar all over the place people were saying so this is how the priest a Catholic priest will, will join us in our pagan worship what a, a big catch and the priest bearing the body of Jesus Christ went and stood by the side in deep prayers. Allow me to, uh, to chant an Igbo song. Biamero Wega, Chineke Biamero Wega, Biamero Wega, Chineke Biamero Wega. Ebi matara na madike bia mero wega Ebi matara na me wegi ti ozo bia mero wega That is come and make name for yourself since you know I'm weak since you know I have no other god come and make name for yourself Jesus Why this priest was standing the horse, the king commanded that the horse be brought, be brought outside. When the horse was brought, the, the belly had already gone in, so thin and lean. And the king had already placed the salad for the horse by the side. And the horse was now in the middle, standing in the middle with the priest by the side. Bearing the body of Christ and the and the the salad for the horse by this side and the those who were who tied the horse it was quite evident and clear that the horse was already Amen. It was clear. 
that the horse was already moving toward the direction of the salad. Hey! And the Christians and Catholics were already crying and lamenting what has Father done to himself and to the whole Catholic Church. No one could believe it. And when the king in his mockery, address of mockery, he told them, um, um, uh, 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 the people say, Yo, Igwe, Igwe. Uh, and he told them, Today is exactly the third day since this <laughs> little boy called the Catholic priest came to me. I was in my palace. He came. I didn't invite him. He came asking me. So when he had shared the whole story about how the priest was. Um, intending to convert him. He said, now, the priest told me that after three days I should serve my beloved horse. This is the third day. That if this horse should eat this salad, he will join me in my pagan worship. But if this horse should um, adore the blessed sacrament or do what, I don't know what he, he meant, but you know he's a young man. Maybe he never knew what he said. So if this horse should go to the blessed sacrament, then I promise him, I and my whole kingdom will also join the Catholic faith. So the people say, oh, our king, he release the horse. Oh, release the horse. Let the horse give us the result immediately. And the horse was released. When the horse was released, you can't believe it. This exactly was the salad. And the horse jumped. Jump! 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 Just as it was about to plunge its mouth into the place to devour the salad, the priest cried. Behold the Lamb of God! Behold Jesus Christ! Behold the King of Kings. Behold your Creator. Behold the Lord of Lords. The horse turned and genuflected to the Blessed Sacrament. And to that Saint Anthony of Padua. Even the horse, unintelligent. The unintelligent horse turned to genuflect before the blessed sacrament. And with what disposition, disposition do you come before the blessed sacrament? You come just anyhow, recklessly, like a daisically. You come and receive it without any change. And that's why there is no real spiritual change in our souls after receiving him. Brothers and sisters, who is really the person? Keeping you away from Jesus. A Muslim once was pack, passing by the street and he saw he saw the priest approaching with the blessed sacrament. And uh, he was walking with his Christian friend, a Catholic friend. And when the priest got to the point where the Catholic and the Muslim were, the, 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 the Catholic bowed. The sacrament must hold your sacrament. And when the priest passed, the Muslim asked the Catholic, why did you bow? And the Catholic told him, lower your voice. The priest was bearing my Jesus, my God. <laughs> and the Muslim mocked him and said, You mean you believe that your God passed here and you will only bow it? I don't want to believe you. If I were to believe in what you believed in, that this is my God, I will lie prostrate here and never rise up and trust the Muslims. We walk before pass, passing the Blessed Sacrament Chapel with no, no sign of reverence, nothing at all. 
Brothers, we need to re- reclaim the reverence to the Holy Eucharist. St. Thomas Aquinas, in the Feast of the Corpus Christi, always listen to the sequence that Thomas Aquinas composed. He said, It is exactly what the, 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 the person in the state of grace received that the person that is not in the state of grace also received. They received the same thing, he said. But their exit differs. This one into life everlasting. This one into eternal death. Do you, have you forgotten still that it was exactly this very body and blood of Jesus Christ that John the Apostle received on that Thursday, Holy Thursday night and he was able to follow Jesus to the point of his crucifixion. And the same body of Christ was received by Judas. Judas is carried. After receiving the body of Christ, he left. And the scriptures say, it was dark, it was night. And the devil possessed him. It's possible that after still receiving his body, we are possessed by demons. It's possible. Just ask yourself every day, what do I receive whenever I come here to receive the body of Jesus Christ? And you remember the story of Fatima. When the angel came, the angel brought the blessed sacrament to these kids. This is the food of angels. This is this. St. Ignatius of Antioch called it the medicine of immortality. Those who eat this never die eternally. They can't really die. The body of Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I wish to enjoy you. Return to the blessed sacrament. Do not just be a party to those who come to Mass every day and yet do not receive. And also, do not be a party. Do not um, join those who go to confession on Saturday to receive him on, on Sunday, to return back to their sins by Sunday evening. Then throughout the whole week, they still wallow in their sins. Then on Saturday evening, they are back to confession. Which kind of confession is that? The holy communion you are making is a sacrilegious communion. And the confession you are, you are, you are making is a sacrilegious confession. Because it's more of a mockery of Jesus. You are mocking the mercy of Jesus. You are mocking him. This is the food of angels. You resolve never again to commit this sin. But while, even in the church right now, you can't believe it. Some people are not yet made up to abandon a particular thing that is taking them away from the body of Christ. Some people right now, even as I'm talking now, some people right now are still settled that after this mass, uh, <laughs> What was Father talking about? I'll still continue with my. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Father. Oh, uh, uh, Father, I don't think it is so easy. Father, I don't think it. And you see, the devil always supplies us with powerful arguments to resist the things of the Spirit. The devil always. Do you know that when Shanahan, Bishop Shanahan, when he, he made his 1,000 miles, from Nigeria to Cameroon. He walked from Nigeria to Cameroon. When he arrived in Cameroon, Shanahan celebrated Mass. When he arrived, he convoked, he told the people, invite some other persons. I don't know the distance. I, I would have um, given you something it looked like, but I don't know the distance from anywhere in Lagos now. But I've said from I don't know. Even the way <laughs> from the airport that I came I don't even know the way to the airport now. <laughs> Beyond here. 
I've yeah, yeah, not even crossed this gate that I, I used to see cars move around. But the, the truth is, people, I would have described it better if I were to be in the southeast. People moved, for those of you from the south, southeast, people moved direct with their lambs and their mats from Enugu State down to Anambra for the Eucharistic celebration. I don't know how to describe it. So, who can now help me? Is it from um, uh, from Ikorodu? Uh -huh, so, thank God. You people now know. Okay, maybe from here to Ibadan, maybe something like that. People try to have this Eucharistic celebration. I'm telling you about the power of the Holy Eucharist. And guess what? When they arrived, Shanahan celebrated the Mass for them. At the end of the Eucharistic celebration, Shanahan had some um, sacred species remaining. So he covered it with the corporal on the altar. And then asked the Masava to light the candle. The candle was still burning. At the end of the Mass, he told them, go in peace, the Mass is ended. And the people of God so excited and thrilled in their hearts that they've seen Jesus for the first time. They said, Ah, Father, you asked us to go, but we saw a light still burning. What is that light for? <laughs> what is that light for? We saw a light burning on the table. What is the light for? Shanahan told them, Jesus Christ is still on the altar. And they asked him, Father, and you asked us to go. <laughs> Wait to <laughs> no, I'm not going anywhere. They sat down on their mat and stayed for more six days because of the blessed sacrament. They refused to go. Passion for Jesus. Passion for Jesus. This, you, I don't know how best to describe it to you. My brothers and sisters, I wish to enjoy you. What's the time? Past eight? And you people were coming. Yeah. Eight minutes after eight. Okay. So I now round up. See, brothers, I want to beg you. If you should re forget every word from this retreat, don't also forget this. Establish a deep, intimate relationship with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Let nothing ever take the place of Jesus at mass in your life. Replace it with no other program in your life. Every day come for mass. Every day. You'll be amazed at how the vices you've been battling with for years will simply wither. They will shrink and die. Because there is, there is a, a real force, power, and raise stronger than any chemotherapy. Shrinking the vices in our souls. Killing them and fixating them. Making them impossible to grow further. The raise, Eucharistic raise. Every day come to Jesus. And don't just come because it's time for Mass. I will tell you one of the best ways to enjoy the Eucharistic celebration. Come to Mass 15 minutes before the time. Hang around in one of the pews. Say your rosary. Ask our mother Mary to take you to the foot of the cross. In that disposition, with that disposition with which she attended the sacrifice of Calvary. Then our mother Mary will hold you with her hand and take you to the altar. And now, you remain in the altar. Don't, don't always love the back seat when you come from us. This is your thing. If you know where you would love to um, watch, um, you, you, you love to sit while watching Chelsea Man U. If this were to be um, a television screen, surely not at the back. Come forward. This is your, your life. The mystery about your life is being celebrated. When you come to Mass, tell yourself, 
I will always be there before the priest makes the sign of the cross. And look at it. The priest says, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, with this, he knocks on the gate of heaven. And listen to his words. When the gates of heaven are open, and God the Father, God the Son, and God the, God the Holy Spirit appear to ask him, Our son, what is it? He asks for the graces. For graces for the people of God. And now, when given to him, he says, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. No grace was exactly mentioned. That is, any grace you may need to be a saint. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is relieved upon those who are punctual to Mass. Those who are late comers never knew the sharing had already begun. Where are you when the priest says that? I invite you seek this deep communion with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and, they, and also every day. Even if you haven't the time, tell Jesus at, at least 15 minutes with you every day before the Blessed Sacrament. Go into that chapel. Tell him, Jesus, this is a secret covenant with you. 15 minutes. Brothers and sisters, how would you feel if you had a friend, maybe a young man who, who is about getting married to a young lady, or a young lady who is, okay, a young man who is about wedding a young lady, and every day, this young man recharges 1,500 naira for this lady. Every day, 1,500 naira. And this, whenever um, her phone was recharged, she sets out making call. The name of the boy recharging the phone is um, maybe James. Then, once recharged, she picks up her call. Hello, Sonny. <laughs> Sonny, Sonny, Baba, Sonny, Sonny. Sonny, how are you? Wow, I've been missing you. I've been missing you. When she's done with calling Sonny, she says, um, um, Oliver, Oli, Oliver, Oli. Oli, how are you? Are you in Lagos? Wow, where? Okay. When she's done, she calls another man. Never again will she call um, James. And when it is 30 seconds to the expiration of the 1,500 Naira credit, she calls uh, James again. Hello? James! James! Uh, excuse, excuse. It will call to It will call. Listen, wait. please recharge for me. Please, please. It will call now. Bang! And James recharges again. Eh? And she sets out calling other people. Brothers and sisters, every day Jesus recharges 24 hours for you. Whom do you spend it with if not with him? You said you are so busy. Busy because he recharged it. Just yesterday night, a priest who is working in the same seminary with me at Oka, who jumped out the second major seminary, just, he called me, he's on his vacation in, in, in Germany now. He said, Father, my sister escorted a corpse from, from Lagos here down to the village, the southeast. On her way back, just yesterday night, at Shagamo, she was crushed. Just yes. And we are busy. We are too busy. We are doing it. But I don't have the time. <laughs> you know my schedule. My schedule is always time. Because he recharged it 24 hours. 24 hours for you every day and you have no time to be with him at mass and to be with him in the blessed sacrament brothers if not with jesus whom do you spend your time every day with 